thoughts on art. In March 1995, two Danish directors, Lars von Trier and Thomas Winterberg, signed in Copenhagen a manifesto which created a cinematic movement which would last 10 years and lead to the production of 35 films. The manifesto, defined as vows of chastity, aimed to purify filmmaking by refusing expensive and spectacular special effects, post-production modifications and other technical gimmicks. They claim this approach may better engage the audience, as they are not alienated or distracted by overproduction. The rules were both circumvented and broken from the first Dogma film to be produced. The first of the Dogma films, Dogma No. 1, was Winterberg's 1998 film Festen, The Celebration. In response to criticism, and to whom said that it was the manifesto that brought filmmaking closer to amateur porn, Von Trier and Winterberg have both stated that they just wanted to establish a new extreme. In a business of extremely high budgets, we figured we should balance the dynamic as much as possible. Here are the words of the manifesto. Dogma 95 is a collective of film directors founded in Copenhagen in the spring of 1995. Dogma 95 has the expressed goal of countering certain tendencies in the cinema today. Dogma 95 is a rescue action. In 1960, enough was enough. The movie was dead and called for resurrection. The goal was correct, but the means were not. The new wave be a ripple that washed ashore and turned to muck. Slogans of individualism and freedom created works for a while, but no changes. The wave was up for grabs, like the directors themselves. The wave was never stronger than the men behind it. The anti-bourgeois cinema itself became bourgeois, because the foundations upon which its theories were based was the bourgeois perception of art. The auteur concept was bourgeois romanticism from the very start and thereby false. To Dogma 95, cinema is not individual. Today a technological storm is raging, the result of which will be the ultimate democratization of cinema. For the first time, anyone can make movies, but the more accessible the media comes, the more important the avant-garde. It is no accident that the phrase avant-garde has military connotations. Discipline is the answer. We must put our films into uniform, because the individual film will be decadent by definition. Dogma 95 counters the individual film by the principle of presenting an indisputable set of rules, known as the vow of chastity. In 1960, a movie had been cosmeticized to death, they said. Yet since then, the use of cosmetics has exploded. The supreme task of the decadent filmmaker is to fool the audience. Is that what we are so proud of? Is that what the 100 years have brought us? Illusions by which emotions can be communicated by the individual artist's free choice of trickery? Predictability. Dramaturgy has become the golden calf around which we dance. Having the character's inner lives justify the plot is too complicated and not high art. As never before, the superficial action and the superficial movie are receiving all the praise. The result is barren, an illusion of pathos and an illusion of love. To Dogma 95, the movie is not illusion. Today a technological storm is raging, of which the result is the elevation of cosmetics to God. By using new technology, anyone at any time can wash the last grains of truth away in the deadly embrace of sensation. The illusions are everything the movie can hide behind. I swear to submit to the following set of rules drawn up and confirmed by Dogma 95. Number 1. Shooting must be done on location. Props and sets must not be brought in. If a particular prop is necessary for the story, 
A location must be chosen where this prop is to be found. Number two. The sound must never be produced apart from the images or vice versa. Music must not be used unless it occurs where the scene is being shot. Number three. The camera must be handheld. Any movement or immobility attainable in the hand is permitted. The film must not take place where the camera is standing. Shooting must not take place where the film takes place. Number four. The film must be in color. Special lighting is not acceptable. If there is too little light for exposure, the scene must be cut or a single lamp be attached to the camera. Number five. Optical work and filters are forbidden. Number six. The film must not contain superficial action. Murders, weapons, etc. must not occur. Number seven. Temporal and geographical alienation are forbidden. That is to say that the film takes place here and now. Number eight. Genre movies are not acceptable. Number nine. The film format must be Academy 35mm. Number 10. The director must not be credited. Furthermore, I swear as a director to refrain from personal taste. I am no longer an artist. I swear to refrain from creating a work, as I regard the instant as more important than the whole. My supreme goal is to force the truth out of the characters and settings. I swear to do so by all means available, and at the cost of any good taste and any aesthetic considerations. Thus, I make my vow of chastity. Copenhagen, Monday 13th of March, 1995. On behalf of Dogma 95, Lars von Trier, Thomas Winterberg.